After my short stay in Veja de Leyva, I was on the road again, heading to Barichara. Driving through the mountains of Colombia was a lot more dangerous than what I thought. There are many hidden corners and long one-lane stretches hugging the cliffs, often without protection guards. Shared with trucks, motorcycles, and pedestrians. Add to all that the continual landslides and driving at night. One mistake, and death is certain. I can't tell you how stressful driving in this area. It was crazy. <laughs> you know, driving while um, trucks coming your way. Hey, what's going on, man? No, I don't want to, bro. Come over here. No? Okay. He doesn't want to. I really can't tell you how stressful it is to drive. Um, it was pouring rain. Trucks coming head on. It's one lane and you have to pass, you know, motorcycles. You have to pass slow cars, slow trucks that can go up the hill. It is crazy. I just had to stop and, and, and chill. Thank thankfully, the rain stopped. So. Uh, the journey continues. After the thrilling experience navigating through the dark roads, I arrived to Berichara late at night. It was so quiet and soundless. The darkness flowed from the wings of the night, like a feather is wafted downward from an eagle on his flight. The yellow lights glimmed through the darkness with hesitating steps. I can sense the old buildings whispering with jasmine and tobacco leaves. Hey stranger, don't be afraid. I have a story to tell you. I felt an overwhelming, almost intimidating energy with a powerful vibration that toys with my fragility, ultimately dissolving the boundaries of my presence into a grandeur that can only be felt with my heart. Not bad for tonight. In the morning, I was so eager to walk around and discover the beauty of Berichara, officially named the most beautiful town in Colombia. There's a modern clock. Barichara. 
Welcome to Barichara. Barichara means place for rest in the indigenous Guani dialect. Legend says, around the 17th hundred, a peasant of the region had an encounter with the Virgin Mary. Her image appeared clearly carved in one of the stones. The miracle was divulged, and the peasant turned the rock into a motive for adoration. Barichara is considered a national monument of Colombia. It rises as a colonial town of incomparable beauty and conservation. The architecture proudly displays the skill of the rock carvers, who patiently shape this little striking town, rock by rock. So this area is protected by the government. Everything has to be kept the way it was. No painting, none of that. Can't change any of the structure of the building. Uh, all you could do is just clean. Um, so you'll see that all over the village. Hello, Jesus. How are you doing? Oh, you have no water. And you smoke. Come on, Jesus, you can't smoke. You have your own kind of Marlboro. And I guess Jesus is protecting the cemetery in front of us, right here. You'll we'll see the cemetery. Hola. So nice and foggy. <laughs> So peaceful. But off to the next. Let's see what's going on in this village. Came here at night. So I was exhausted, so I, I right away went to the room, slept, got my breakfast, now walking around this village. Big butt ants that I'm gonna eat in a little bit. 
It's this, the big button. Hormigas colonas. Mm. Salty and crunchy. You try to eat it with the head and everything. It's the ant with the big butt. Off to the next city. Let's go. Look at that. El Cañón de Chica Mocha. Hey! Like seriously, amazing.